So this mount is a pole cap that we use for our empty solar mounts. When we designed this, we were looking for a design that we could put around the pole and build the array around the pole rather than the traditional system of placing the pole cap on top of the pole. So therefore we've, we've done a, a system with a U-bracket design where we can place this around the pole, support it with a hoist, and then build the entire array off of this piece. It's going to give us the ability to build this array and then hoist the finished array to the top of the pole without the need of cranes or any other extra equipment. And the benefit to this design is the safety portion of not having to do work overhead. Some guys will set up a conventional racking system by putting the pole cap up, building all of the steel structure all overhead at the top of the pole. Here in the northwest where we have deep snow in the winter, we're not able to have the arrays very low to the ground. We need them up in the air. So by doing this system, we can build this array in compliance with OSHA. The array itself is only three feet off the ground a nice comfortable working height, it allows us to then still get the benefits of having it high in the air when we're done. The other important feature is the decreased expense of having to bring in a crane. One thing we especially noticed when we were bringing in cranes to, to build these arrays on the ground and then lift them in, was we ended up spending a lot of time sitting around waiting for the crane to get here because we didn't want to have the crane show up and we weren't quite done with the array. So we're installing the splice kit here to put the, to put the center splices in to this array. And that will join these independent arrays which are conventional sized. Uh, this is our universal size and these splice kits allow us to tie these two standard products together. use pretty much any type of heavy duty racking. This clamp system is what we're using for this snap and rack and what it does it, it clamps into the into the bottom of the snap and rack using a standard snap and rack nut. When it snaps down in it's ready to go and once we get these rails all on and spaced however the modules dictate we can provide a custom solution for any type of module.